Thalassophobia is a fear I believe every single one of us share. Sure, we might vary in degree and severity, but we all, deep down inside, fear the deep dark of the ocean. And for many reasons, that fear is justified. The deep is a place that is all too much unhospitable to us. There's a very real barrier of an inaccessibility that separates us from it. The depth, the pressure, the whole lack of breathing thing. And then there's the dark. 97% of this planet is ocean, and 80% of that is unknown and unexplored to us. There are mountain ranges, canyons, plateaus, and caverns that are vast and completely unseen by our eyes. The things we fear always linger just beyond our sight, in our nightmares and in our imagination. So anytime there is a sign of something in that dark, well, what are we supposed to do but fear it? In 1997, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration heard a sound on their Equatorial Pacific Ocean Autonomous Hydrophone Array. This hydrophone array was designed to listen for seismic activity and sounds of marine life. The sound they heard lasted a minute. It rose in frequency rapidly in that minute, and it was unlike anything they ever heard before. At the time, they suggested that it made the most sense that this sound was biological in origin. That, in of itself, isn't all that odd. We learn things every day, and a previously unknown animal sound is just a new day. But there is a big if with this sound. It was heard on multiple sensors, thousands of miles apart. Whatever this noise was, it was loud nearly impossibly loud for any known creature, and subsequently impossibly larger than any known creature. They named this sound the bloop. With that laid out, the actual sound will probably come as a disappointment to you, especially since it's been sped up 16 times so we can e hear it easier. So what could this sound be? No known whale species? A giant squid? Octopus? Some unknowable deep thing that we have no conception of? Was it Cthulhu? The coordinates of Rilei, where Cthulhu lies dreaming, is sort of ballpark where they pinpointed the, where the bloop came from. Sadly, the stars continue to be not bright. In 2005, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration announced that they had determined what caused the bloop. Turns out it wasn't biological at all, but the sound of an iceberg cracking away from Antarctica. So much of the fascinating things in the dark turn out to be something significantly less fun and interesting. But it was nice in this day and age to have a potential giant sea creature out there for eight years. And who knows, there still may be a beastie out there for us, in the deep. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our second video of weekly videos of creepy things. Uh, obviously I shook up the format a little bit on this. Uh, I'm just going to keep on throwing stuff at the wall and see what sticks. Uh, I have no idea what the next video is going to be, but I guess i got a week to figure it out. If there's anything you guys would like to hear me talk about, please let me know in the comments below. Along those lines, please like and subscribe. I hate saying that. Uh, hoping to find some better way of doing that, but it is what it is. Alright, so I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you all later.